This tutorial shows the calculation of the effect size following a chi-square test of independence with a sufficiently small p-value. The proper effect size for the chi-square test of independence is Cohen's omega, sometimes also referred to as Cohen's w, because of the similar look. The formula to calculate omega is provided in Cohen 1988, page 223. Omega equals the square root of the chi-square value divided by the sample size. When it comes to the SPSS output, we have all we need for that calculation. The test statistic is the chi-square value, which is 6.037 in my example. The number of observations is total n and 51 in my example. I can either do the calculation in Excel, Google Sheets or use the calculator. If you want the calculation to be as exact as possible, I would recommend using Excel or Google Sheets and copy the test statistic with all decimals available and do the calculation there. The resulting effect size for my example is omega equals 0.344, rounded to three decimals. Finally you need to classify the magnitude of this effect. If similar studies in your research field exist, compare your effect size with the given one. If no comparable study exists, use the common thresholds within your research field. If those are also non-existent, you can refer to Cohen 92 a power primer. Page 157 shows the three thresholds for the effect size omega. 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0.5 for small, medium and large effects. In my example, 0.344 is above the threshold for a medium effect if I use Cohen's thresholds. When you're done, you have to write up the results. The video that appears now will show you how. 